Chris Shanahan from the first rule, punk band based out of Kenosha, Wisconsin. Please check this out. Subscribe below, like this video, heck, like some of our other music videos. Anyway, the reason I'm here is to do a little preview for Last Song Playing, presented by Wayne Smith Music. Um, this is the Last Song Playing tournament number four. We have personally been in the acoustic one, which was number two, and the last one, where we made it to the third round, I believe. Uh, lost to a really good band, Bad Year. Make sure you check them out, too. Um, best thing about this tournament is it's music from all over the world. It's music of different kinds of genres. In a time where we can't be going out to live shows, we can't be playing live shows, it's a great chance to get some exposure to some new music and um, to get our music out to other people. So coming from a musician's point of view, please like, subscribe, watch the whole video. Uh, it helps us out. Um, it you know may just be a few cents for each view, if that, but if everyone in this tournament is viewing all the bands, liking all the bands, subscribing to all the bands, even if it's not your favorite, give them some support. That's what we need for the local music scene. Support each other. Doesn't matter if it's a different genre. Doesn't matter if they're not even local. It could be on the other side of the world. 32 bands in here doing this preview. I went through, liked, subscribed to every single one. So please do your part. Share the, you know, share the love. That's all we're asking. So. Before I get into this, uh, I just want to say thank you, Wayne Smith, for doing this. Um, it's something that I look forward to every day, especially when I'm stuck at home. So, or you know, few days that I have to work. But also, thank you for letting me do this preview all the bands. I'm gonna be honest; it was tough listening to 32 bands uh, back to back and trying to keep notes and try to remember who is who. Um, I did the best I can. Um, I'm going to give you what I can, you know, so the few notes that I took for all the bands. I don't want to make this an hour long, so I'm just gonna keep it brief. Maybe give you my opinions on who I think might go on. I am a little biased. I play in a punk band. I listen to punk music. I've uh, not really been exposed to a whole lot of metal, thrash metal. It's not really my scene. Um, I do listen to a lot of different kinds of stuff. That's not really one of them. I do appreciate the music. I appreciate good musicianship. Um, but I'm going to be biased. But you know what? If you don't like the way I'm thinking, that's okay. Go vote for you know the bands that you like. Um, this is just my opinions. So, let's get into the tournament, shall we? Begins this Saturday, August 22nd. The first matchup is Lobos by Realidad. Um, they are based out of Guatemala versus Human Collapse by Kurt Russ Hell. Yes, that's the way it's said. So, uh, Lo uh, Realidad is kind of like a harder punk. Um, kind of a little bit more what I'm into. I didn't understand any of what they were singing, but it was still my feel. Um, Kurt Russell, not exactly my style. It's kind of more of a screamy metal. Um, so I think I'm going to make my vote for Lobos. Again, like I said, if you don't like what I choose, that's fine. Go vote for the other one. Get your friends to vote. Get more people in this group to vote and watch these videos. The next matchup is Time is the Enemy by Ash Return. They are out of Germany. And also out of Germany is uh, Mind Machine by Shades of God. Two German bands, they do not sound anything alike. Um, the first band, Ash Return, they are kind of more of a skate punk. Um, Shades of God, they are more metal. Um, I kind of have my leaning toward Ash Return, so that's who I think I'm probably going to vote for. But Shades of God have a sick animated video. Be sure to check it out, because I love myself a good animated video. This was, 
think this was the there were only like a handful of them in this tournament um this one was awesome i love it all right keep it up guys um matchup number three Kingdom of the Spider by Rat Bat Spider out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin versus Army of the Clones by Subvision out of Scotland. Now, I definitely have some bias here. Kenosha and Milwaukee are about 45 minutes apart. We've played shows with uh, Rat Bat Spider. I believe we've done some festival, local festival stuff. Um, they're good guys. They're good music. I like them. I like their style. Uh, Subvision, not really my style in the first place, so I think I'm going to give the edge to Rat Bat Spider. Okay, the fourth matchup. We have On Fire by the Lousketeers out of New York City. We also have Us by Own Your Life out of... No, I'm on the wrong... We have Reslam by X Monroe out of Italy. Wow, I'm just like... I should have organized this a little better. All right, um, Lausketeers were in the first tournament. I don't think I was new about the tournament when the first one was going on, so I this is my first exposure to them. Uh, they are kind of uh, they're more ska than anything else, I would say. Uh, Reslan, um, that song, I really liked it. Uh, those X Men Row, they're out of Italy. Um, I really like that song, but. There's something about the Lasketeers. Uh, I I like it. Um, I like the Lasketeers. I like Scott. I like some really good Scott. Not necessarily what I listen to all the time, but when I hear a good band, I like it. Um, and I think if, if X Monroe was against any other band, I'd probably be voting for them. But in this case, I just can't pass on the Lasketeers. All right, that is the first quarter. On to the next section. Rise by Apathy Circle. They are out of Santa Ana, California. Versus Us by Own Your Life. Now we're on Own Your Life. They are out of the United Kingdom. Um, kind of got to go with uh, Apathy Circle here. Apathy Circle. Apathy Cycle. I'm sorry. Um, they're, I mean, they're out of Santa Ana. They're California punk. That's what I usually prefer to listen to when I'm talking about punk music. Um, it's uh, that song. I expect these guys to go far because that song is awesome. This That's exactly what I listen to. That's kind of what I'm, you know, fast-paced, hard, you know. I don't know what else to say. That's They've got my vote for sure. Okay. Um, the next sixth matchup is... Armageddon Stomp by Public Serpents out of New Jersey versus, and I don't speak Spanish, so I'm probably going to butcher this, Herencia de los Caidos by, oh, I got the name of the song, but then I didn't have the, uh, by Nuestro Destino, okay, um, if I butchered the song name or the band name, I apologize. Let me know down in the comments. So, um, and that second band is out of Mexico. Um, Armageddon Stomp, I really, again, animated video, that kind of pulls me in right there. Um, but then they've also got like a harder ska punk feel to it. So um, that's more along my style. That's, I think I'm kind of leaning more toward them. Moving on. The next matchup. Unrelenting Will by Next Bullet. They are out of Italy. And they were also in the first last song playing tournament. Versus Crossfaded by Crossfaded. They are out of Anaheim, California. Um, Crossfaded by Crossfaded. Naming a song after the band. Brilliant move. I love the song. There's not a whole lot to it, but I love the song. Um, it's, I don't even know why. It's like, I, it's its not necessarily something I would always listen to, but it's, it's good. I'm pulling for them in this round. Ah. Move. 
Moving on. Um, last one before the half. All right, we have Kim Newcomb versus Twitler by Heathcliff, band out of Germany, versus Suffer in Silence by Antics. They are out of Ontario, Canada. This was a tough call for me. Um, Kim Newcomb versus Twitler. The music video is hilarious. It's Kim Jong Un and Donald Trump. Well, actors with masks on for them, acting like kids. I love this video. It was fun. It was enjoyable to watch. The song was good as well. Um, which coming out of Germany, hearing that kind of pop punk, I thought that was awesome. Um, Suffer in Silence by Antics. Again, that's kind of more along the style of punk that I like. This was really tough. Um, I actually didn't write down which band I think would go on. I think I'm going to give it to Antics just because I kind of like that style a little bit more. But definitely check out both these bands. Check out all these bands as we meet the halfway point. Fortunately for you, you only have to watch these bands two at a time. I watch them all straight through. Amazing music. It's a little hard to keep track. So, let me just uh, fix my notes here a little bit. Make this a little bit easier to read. All right. The second half. I don't know where I was going with that. All right. The first round of the second half is Pros for Fucking Cons by, again, I didn't write down the band name, by Skull Drug versus Your Vice is a Locked Room by Left Hand Black. These were two very different bands. Uh, Skull Drug, they are out of Phoenix, Arizona. Left Hand Black is out of Sweden. Um, very different bands. I kind of have preference for Skull Drug with their pros. Well, pros spelled P-R-O-S-E. So pros for fucking cons. That's, that's getting my vote. Um, Left Hand Black... Singer's voice is amazing, very distinct. Um, he's got that low register that, like, I mean, that stands out from all the other bands in this uh tournament. Like, I didn't hear anyone else's voice anywhere near what you were singing. So, um, props to you. Um, not a little bit too slow, uh, not necessarily what I normally listen to. So, um, <coughs> but still, good band. And awesome singer. Okay. Next we got a battle of, from the UK. Ground Down by Before They Were Hanged versus Promises Promises by Rats Arse. Now Rats Arse has been in two of the other tournaments before. Uh, the first one and the last one that just finished up. I have heard another song by them when they were in the third uh, tournament. Um, ground Down by Before They Were Hanged. A little more my style. I also love how they took footage from recent events, um, both in the U.S. and in the U.K., which is where they're from. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the music video is awesome. Obviously shot, you know, during quarantine and everything. Um, they used a lot of video footage of protests and stuff. That's Again, more my style of music, so I kind of got to lean toward before they were hanged. Definitely looking to hearing more from you guys when I get the chance. Next matchup. You got Heart, Kid, by Crosscheck, out of L.A., versus Norval's Ark by The Curse. Actually, there's an exclamation point. The curse! I don't know what I'm doing. Um, they are out of Tampa Bay. Okay, again, there are a lot of tough choices in this tournament. 
I can't tell you how many times I either didn't put down who I thought would go on, or um, just so I could decide right off the you know top of my head while I'm talking to you guys. But um, both bands were really good. Um, Cross check songs like I think it was less than two minutes. Um, but then again, so are a bunch of my band songs. So I kind of have a leaning toward you guys. Uh, really tough choice, but I'm. I think I'm going to go with cross check on this one. Uh, where are we? I think this is like number twelve. Yeah, twelfth matchup. Brand new nightmare by Stormtroopers of Love. Love the name. Versus Nevermind by Loose Change. Uh, Stormtroopers of Love are out of Denmark. Uh, Loose Change is out of Virginia Beach, Virginia. So, it is hard for me to... It's hard for me to not vote for a band that has Stormtroopers in the title. But, there's something about Loose Change that their song, I just... I, I fell in love with. Like, I love this band. I'm definitely looking up more about them. Um, when I'm done here, but there's, I would call it kind of ska-ish, I don't know if that's what they're going for, but um, it's kind of more of a conversation than a song, I, I don't know, but I love it, so sorry Stormtroopers of Love, um, not really my style in the first place. I love the band name. You guys sounded good. I just, I gotta go with Loose Change here. Okay. Matchup number 13, I think, somewhere around there. Sure. <sighs> Evil Shuffle by the Great Old Evils. They are out of San Clemente, California. Versus Act With, is that right? Act With Fact by Working Class Cannibals out of Denton, Texas. Now, I've heard some Texas punk bands and, uh, like, very thrashy, very, like, screamy, almost more along metal. Um, Working Class Cannibals, you guys are kind of that direction, but not quite as much as other bands that I've heard. So, um, I was really surprised, actually, and it's definitely my style of music. Unfortunately for you, um, I think I gotta go with Evil Shuffle uh, by the Grand Old Evils. They remind me of Electric Six um, out of Michigan, I believe, uh, Detroit, I think. Uh, my band actually opened for Electric Six last year, and those guys, are, it's hard to describe. They're not a certain style, they're kind of eclectic. And I can't describe it anymore. Watch the video, you'll kind of know what I'm talking about. But there was just something about that song and the video, but mostly the song that just caught my attention. And I love it. Like, I think, I, I don't know what everyone else is going to think, but I'd love to see that song make it, maybe not all the way to the end, because I have some other preferences over them, but um, I think they could go far, If, uh, but we'll see what everyone likes. Um, working Class Candles, if it wasn't for this matchup, I'd be voting for you. I like your sound. I'll definitely be looking you up. Okay. Next up, we have 56 Minutes by Detention. They are out of Akron, Ohio. Versus Safe Zone by Mud Fight out of Austria. Um, both of these bands were very pop punk. A different kind of pop punk from each other. But they're both... I, I would put them in that pop punk category. Um, Detention, they... Just based on the video, I haven't looked up anything about them. They look like they're teenagers. So um, props to you guys. Um for putting out such good music at such a young age. I definitely was not putting out good music when I was a teenager. I was playing in um, my family's house, you know, in, with my brother playing drums, and we were horrible. 
like I go back and listen to some stuff. But you guys are, man, that's some good stuff. So I'm, I like both songs, 56 Minutes and Safe Zone, but I kind of got to go with 56 Minutes. Um, just because the video is good, but also, like, man, doing stuff like that at such a young age, props to you. You're going to go far. The second to last matchup in the first round. Remember, this is all just the first round. Then the winners got to go play each other, and then they, those winners play each other, and crazy. That's how it works. Need more to drink. Not used to talking this much, let alone to a um, camera. So, uh, Green Walls by Die Ghost out of Minneapolis um, versus Force Fiend by Suckawut out of Westminster, Maryland. I hope I said the name right. Green Walls versus Force Fiend. Green Walls. Um, a little bit harder style punk than I normally listen to, but I still enjoyed it. Like, um, plus, you guys are out of Minneapolis. Um, I love several bands out of the Minneapolis area. The Bond Tramps, for one. Um, Weather. Been meaning to make it over to Minneapolis to do a show. We just haven't gotten the chance to tour over that way. Um, <coughs> hopefully, we'll get a chance to and. Maybe do a show with you guys. Um, suck a what? Um, not really my style. It's metal. It's if you're a metal fan, you know you might you might enjoy these guys, but it's not really. I'm kind of going with uh, Die Ghost with Green Walls. So out of Minneapolis. Um, look up the first rule. Find us. We'll talk. The last matchup of the first round, and this is a long title. So let's see. The Problems in Your Way by Red Atlanta versus Generation Lost by Protagonist. Again, another tough matchup. Red Atlanta, I kind of got more of a pop-punk feel from them. Protagonist, um, kind of maybe harder punk than not, not pop-punk. Punk. Punk. Um, it, yeah, but, um, I'm not sure, oh, and Protagonist is out of, uh, Boca Raton, Florida. So, <coughs> I like both songs, I'll definitely be looking both, both of these bands up, looking into them, hearing what else they have. Um, I probably would, I don't know, this is another one where I didn't actually mark down who I prefer, just because like I like both of them. Um, I think, push come to shove, I think I'd go with Generation Loss. It's probably more along the lines of what I'd listen to regularly, but I still love um, Red Atlanta. That song was awesome. I love the video for it with the, the animation and everything. Or, sorry, the lyric video that has the animation going on. Um, great, great idea there. So, yeah, that is all 32 bands that are playing over the next however many weeks. It's probably about, I don't know how long it'll take, four weeks maybe, three weeks. I don't remember how long the last one was. Um, please, listen to all the bands. Don't just take my word for it. Listen to them yourself. Don't, you know, yes, you may have your band come up. Please listen to the other bands. Um... Every little listen helps. The more we can help each other, the better off our scenes will be. So, I kind of did a thing where I, I mean, I didn't go through every matchup and fill out a bracket or anything, but I thought it'd be fun to kind of look at each section <coughs> and figure out who I would like to see in the final four. So let me just... All right, so looking at the bracket, I kind of went through and said, okay, I, I like these bands. Let's see if, if they're matched up against other bands. Who would I like to see in the final four? I'm not going to try to predict a winner 
This is just my preference. This is who I would like to see facing off in the finals. So, out of the first four, um, first four rounds of the first round, first four matchups of the first round, however you want to say that. Um, sorry, Rat Bat Spider, I know you guys are local, but I think I'm pushing for Ash Return out of, uh, they were out of Germany. Their song, Time is the Enemy. Um, I would love to see them make it to the final four from that round. Again, I could be totally wrong. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven other bands that could make it. I think this round might have been the hardest for me to choose one. But vote. That's all I can say. Um, the second section of the first round. So that'd be matchups five, six, seven, and eight. I gotta go for Apathy Circle. Um, out of all the all the songs, I think that song caught me the most. Um, it definitely made me want to go back and listen to it about three more times before I kept going. So, um, Apathy Circle and Ash Return are in my final four. Out of matchups 9, 10, 11, and 12, uh, this, this was another tough one. There were a couple bands that I, I was like, I really like. But I think I got to go with Loose Change. Um, I really liked what you guys did there. Um, it's not necessarily what I always listen to, but it's definitely like, I like it. I don't know what the rest of your stuff sounds like, but I'm definitely going to go check it out. <coughs> Excuse me. Finally, the last section, matchups 13, 14, 15, and 16. Again, there is a lot of good bands in this tournament. Like, I think there's more bands in this tournament that I'm going to go back and look up and make, you know, download, buy, stream uh, music for than the other tournaments. Um, a little bit more my style in this tournament. So, um, but for the last section, I'm stalling. I think I'm going to go with the Grand Old Eagles. Whether they make it there, that's up to you guys. But that's kind of where I'm uh, leaning toward. I would love to see Ash turn to Apathy. Did I keep saying that wrong? I think I do. Apathy Cycle. I don't know why I wrote Cycle. Ash Return, Apathy Cycle, Loose Change, and The Grand Old Evils. Um, those are the four bands that I kind of am pushing for to get to the Final Four. You be the judge. Who do you think should be in the Final Four? If you want to give all the bands a listen, I'm going to have the links down below, both for the tournament, well, the group page that the tournament's on, if you're not already a member, and also, all the, the playlist that has all the bands. Excuse me. <coughs> so please, listen to all the bands. If you don't want to go through and listen to 32 bands right now, I totally understand. Each day when they're posted, when Wayne puts them up, be sure to listen to the two bands for that day. Like them, subscribe them, and then come on and vote in the tournament. That's all I can say for now. I am Chris Shanahan. The first rule, please subscribe to our um, YouTube page. So, down below, um, listen to some of our music. Check us out. Hopefully you like it. If not, thanks for at least listening to me ramble on like I knew what I was talking about. I don't know why I'm doing this, but... But it's fun. It's a good chance to listen to some music and kill some time and um, maybe put a little perspective to things. So uh, good luck voting. Hope you enjoy everything.